I'm going to read a, a big, or not, not a big poem, maybe three little poems. <laughs> and uh, does anybody else need to get really high before they write? Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I thought of many things to say before I wrote. Or I suppose I would have many things to say before I would say this, but now I forget. But uh, I do remember wanted to do a Give It Up For John again. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. And I, and this one could be called uh, "If you see a glance, you must be a little glancy yourself." <laughs> um, and, all right. uh, the shrooms hit, and then you find the tick on you. Felt queasy, now queasy and diseasy. <laughs> but we are already on our way to the car. Happens to be that you're in the middle too. Can you feel them? There are more. Sniffle and scratch and feel. Is it more crawlers on your head or down your neck? Right where you like to have thumbs pressed on? Ask Ted to look. He looks, but nothing. He thumbs where you like to a bit. Mmm, thanks. Cold sweat on a bouncy seat. You close your eyes and see popped blood on Ted's dirty nails. Uh, <laughs> Sydney, Sydney died. Mom and Dad think she had a stroke. Had a stroke by the back door. Mom said it was Sydney barking early, early to go out. Dad comes down, lets her out, eats a yogurt, lets her in. She gets given a treat, and when Abby's in too, so does Abby. Dad goes up, finishes off the sleep. Comes down, dog's dead of stroke, they think. He goes up to wake warm mom up. God, what does he do at first when he first sees? He says, I think that's it for Sydney. Mom, wearing a loose white v-neck and faded white and blue pajama pants, leans down to Sitters' mouth in the kitchen, in the early morning kitchen door glass. How overcasty, wet and gray or sunny, sunny. What was Abby doing? She was begging to get out, they said and was let out. And was she, from her spot on the patio, peering through the kitchen door as mom leans down with her ear? Then does Abby look across along the leftward windows as mom gets up and goes over to make a coffee? And then this one is a little stories I want to tell. Okay. Uh, both me and my daddy know it feels good, good to yank out a nose hair. <laughs> Only once has a book got me laid, and that book was The Master and Margarita, which is cool because that's a cool book for that to happen to. It's cool to get laid. Well. <laughs> Cats, tails, little moving things on the back of them. How much involuntary their gorgeous, teasing tentacle. Soft as its belly, maybe, between my fingers. Aye, how nice to come near the cat and have its tail move about. To place one finger up, all fingers up, in the path of the tail. And the cat watches its tail bumble about, or what's the word? Bump, soft, flop, in, it into me and my, in between my fingers. What does it think of its how involuntary tail? Touching me, a new face. Dad... Next day, said man and drop dead gorgeous. <laughs> Asked, is she still neutral towards you? Don't think so. Actually gave me a little smooch last night. Thought you saw. Saw us kiss in the kitchen. He says he did see, and mm, I see it too. Uh, worked six months on a sprawling Christian resort in the mountains. Would get high, high, and in the middle of the night go quietly to the horses. Would stick out the hands to find the railing. Keep them stuck out, holding on, holding banana bits sometimes. I love to hear the horses come to me in the dark and to feel the breath, to see them a bit, if a bit of stars. Or then I like, da da da. <laughs> 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 <laughs>